Here we show you how to mould and fit a Tomid Somnogard 3 mandibular advancement device. The process, at first glance, may appear somewhat daunting as the instructions are very comprehensive. With some simple preparation and sufficient care at key stages of the process, fitting this device is actually relatively easy. Firstly, prepare everything needed to fit this device. The instructions, read them carefully, the device itself, the spatula, a bowl of iced water, a saucepan of boiling water and a clock that shows seconds. Insert the spatula into the hole at the front of the somno guard and push it through so it's sticking out the other side by just a few millimetres. Ensure the spatula is secure. This is very important as you don't want the device falling off during the heating process. When correctly inserted this will not happen. Now. Take the saucepan of boiling water off the heat and wait a few seconds for the bubbling to subside. It is very important that you do not use a kettle or any other method of heating the water for this part of the fitting process. Slide the device into the water so it's completely immersed. Ensure it's not touching any part of the saucepan and very gently move the device in the water, carefully turning it 180 degrees midway through. Avoid vigorous movements, as this could cause the device to collapse in on itself. Timing, when the device is in the water, is absolutely crucial. Don't count in your head, rely solely on a clock that shows seconds. The instructions state the device should be immersed for about 20 seconds. We strongly recommend that you don't exceed 20 seconds. Here, we immerse three somno guards for varying times. 15 seconds on the left, 20 seconds in the middle, and 25 seconds on the right. After just 15 seconds, the device can still be fitted fairly effectively but it is slightly harder to create good impressions. If you are very unsure about the fitting process, then we would suggest this is a good timing to use. Exactly 20 seconds, and no more, is definitely the optimum time. The plastic will have relaxed, but not so much that it becomes floppy and uncontrollable. After 25 seconds, a good fitting is still possible, but the plastic will be very floppy and there is a strong possibility that without great care and a steady hand, the channel walls will collapse. Getting the timing right is extremely important. When timed correctly, the device will maintain its form and can be easily fitted. We don't recommend you attempt any timing in excess of 20 seconds. The final stage of the process requires some care to get right. Once the somno guard has cooled sufficiently, a few seconds once out of the water, open your mouth as wide as possible and gently lower it onto your bottom teeth, ensuring the teeth are in the channels. Now, start to close your teeth together gently, feeling for the channel walls of the upper part of the device. You may need to gently push either side of your mouth so the device lines up with your dental arch minimising the possibility of biting down on the channel walls. Don't rush this part. Once your teeth are in place, bite down as hard as you can, but not with your front teeth. Bite predominantly with your back teeth. Whilst doing this, place your tongue beneath the spatula and push and suck, not forgetting to move your lower jaw slightly forward. Press around the exterior of your mouth to maximise the impressions in the device. Finally, carefully remove the device from your mouth, don't jiggle it, as this may ruin your good impressions, and place it in the iced water for about 30 seconds so it can set hard. Following the instructions, 
taking care at each stage of the process and observing the correct timings will result in the successful fitting of the SomnoGuard 3.